Okay, my name is Isidora, I'm from Chile and I'm a junior in high school. I've been studying in a bilingual school since I was in first grade, like for about 10 years or so. And a bilingual school is actually a school that learns two languages, my native language, that is Spanish, and English. Um, when I was in eighth grade, I did an exam, the FCE, that was the first certificate in English for the Cambridge University. And a year later, I did the CAE, that is the Certificate in Advanced English. And I passed both of them with really good scores, having in consideration that I was just 13 years. And that that certificate is used mostly for people that are going to university or to work. Um, I am a very hardworking person, and I think of myself as a very reliable person too. And when I need to, I, when I given a task, I usually tend to finish it like earlier than what I that when I should do, because I like to make things almost perfect. So. If I finish them earlier, then I can like, change the final details or so. Um, I have been in a lot of team groups, like team sports, like sports. I have been in cheerleader as well. <laughs> I have been in a soccer team and in a basketball team. And in three, of them, all three of them, I have been like a leader. Because I like to organize and I like to lead people and I like to succeed in what I do. So in both, oh, I mean in the three of the teams I was, we had a lot of competitions and by reorganizing the team, I think we made it very far. Um, well, I like to work in team as much as working by myself because I think I have a lot to give to different jobs and duties I, I'm given. And well, for all the reasons I have, I have told you, I think I'm very qualified for this job. I'm gonna ask next question. Describe your work experience throughout the, the years. Okay, so I'm just 16, so I haven't had like a real, real job, but I have had different jobs, like little jobs different stores. For example, I worked in a fashion boutique like for a month, about like a month. And well, that boutique sells clothes and shoes and bags and a lot of things. And I was a saleswoman there and we actually did very good. We saw a lot of things and it was a great achievement. I have also been a babysitter a lot of times with for families that are in my school as well. And I think that people choose me instead of other babysitters because they can rely on me, they can trust me. So they showed me that by letting me stay with the most valuable things they have that are their kids. Um, uh, what is your field of interest? Well, <clears throat> Since I was like in fifth grade, I have always liked numbers more than letters or biology or whatever. So when in Chile, my country, when you go like to ninth grade, like when you turn freshman, like, you have to choose between letters, numbers, or biology. So I chose numbers, and I have done very good in like math and physics and chemistry. And I think I'm going to study like engineering or civil engineering that is like a similar thing. And my like my field of interest is more about like solving problems with numbers and making that work. Um, could you describe your last job duties? Uh, well, as I said before, I worked in a boutique. It was pretty fun because everything had to do with fashion, so and I like that. And I was a saleswoman, so I learned how to interact with people.
and I'm pretty a I'm pretty shy person, but when my work it has to do with interacting with people or getting to know people, I tend to do it the best that I can. And I think I did it pretty well in my last job. What successes did you have in your last job? In the boutique, we did a fundraiser, and as the, the store was the boutique, we did a fashion show. So it was pretty cool. A lot of people went, a lot of celebrities went too, and we raised a lot of money, and then we give, gave it to a charity for abandoned kids, like orphanage, like orphanage. and actually, I wasn't just a saleswoman there, I was also a model, so that was pretty fun and I think that has been like my greatest achievement. Mm -hmm. What failures did you have in your last job and how did you manage that? Um, failures. Well, I don't usually have a lot of failures or mistakes and things. But once or twice I got late, I arrived late, but not because I was like sleeping or anything, because I have a little brother, he is eight, and when I had to go to work, my mom wasn't always at home, so my brother stayed alone, and I didn't want him to be alone in my house, so I stayed with him until my mom got home, that were like 10 minutes before, was it? I mean after what I should go, and then, I mean, that would be like my biggest failure, I mean, arriving late, but it was because for me, family is first a job or anything else. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I'm a junior still, so I have two more years to study in school, and then I'm going to be studying in the university in the capital city of my country, that's because in Santiago, that is that city, there are the best universities there, and I would be living with my aunt, and maybe in about six years or so, I would be living with a friend that she's also going to go to the same university, so I think in a term of five years I would be like starting very hard to get my master's. What five words best describe describes your working techniques? Um, well, I'm a very hard working person and I like things to be like, dedicated. I think I'm also a very honest person and cooperative because when I need to do something with other people I like to do it well and like interact with others. Um, I am responsible also, I'm reliable, because I think people can trust me when they get to know me. And, well, that are my five words. <laughs> Stop.